The Kyrian have the fun and challenging vehicle brawler skill, the Path of Ascension. The Maldraxxi get to construct fun constructs with personality and fun lines, and the Night Fae have a little virtual garden to attend to. And the Venthia, well, the Venthia get the Ember Court. I have attended the Ember Court once and instantly noped, never to find interest in it again. But can it actually be useful? Are there awesome transmogs and pets and mounts that I'm unaware of and miss out on? This guide will give you an overview and description of what to do in the Venthia Ember Court and exactly why you need not feel jealous of those darn fairies. Probably. All covenants in the Shadowlands get a unique activity or feature that only members of that covenant can enjoy. For the Venethia, this is the Ember Court. Here, you host parties along with Theotar, and as you expand the court, you can invite more and more known NPCs from across all covenants in the Shadowlands. Before I get into how to open the Ember Court, let's just get some of the rewards straight. Ask ourselves if it's even worth the trouble of opening the Ember Court, because the intro quest line is a bit of work. The rewards for succeeding in the Ember Court and increasing your reputation with the faction include a unique mound, which is for Vinthia only, the Desire's Battle Gargon, which you get when you reach best friend status with the Countess, you get unique transmog and weapons which are earned through increasing your friendship with certain NPCs. And you get the Venthia specific pets. This one has made me very happy. Baddie and the Dredger Butler. And hey, who doesn't want their own personal Dredger Butler? Tamel will also offer you a list of mounts and pets, which are offered across all the special activities of the Covenants. Meaning these mounts will be offered in Path of Ascension, the Abominable Stitching and the Queen's Conservatory. As such, they are also not Covenant specific, but can be used across all characters. To unlock access to buy the pets, you must be revered with the Ember Court, and for the mounts, you must be exalted. To unlock the Ember Court, you must first unlock it in your Covenant Sanctum in Sinfall by visiting Foreman Flatfinger. To do this, you need 1500 anima and one redeemed soul, and a waiting time of one hour. When you begin your Covenant campaign, you should pretty much have the necessary anima to unlock the first tier of one of the four options in your Covenant Sanctum. You could choose for that one first option to be your Ember Court. Once the one hour has passed and the Ember Court is unlocked, Theotar will want to talk to you about how to make the parties perfect. So head over to him and he'll have a quest for you which includes a tutorial on the Ember Court and a practice run of an Ember Court scenario. Afterwards, you can each week pick up the Ember Court quest from Timel above ground in Sinfall. He'll also have rewards and items related to the Ember Court for you to buy. Now, the Ember Court can be very overwhelming at first, because there's a lot going on. The general idea, however, is to make sure that the court atmosphere fits the guests that you have invited for the week. As you progress through the Ember Court, it is possible to unlock more and more guests to invite. You choose whom to invite each week. Each guest will have different preferences for the atmosphere and you cannot usually make everyone happy, so I suggest focusing on one or a few per court. The atmosphere can have five opposite attributes and you must choose one in all once you begin the scenario. The cleanliness level, which can be either messy or clean. Danger level, which can be safe or dangerous. Decadence level, which can be either humble or decadent. Excitement level, where you must choose between relaxing and exciting. And finally, the formality level, which is between casual and formal. Based on your court's atmosphere, you can affect your guest happiness. The closer to the atmosphere preference, the happier they'll be. I generally suggest when you choose above one guest to attend your court, not to choose two or more with completely different preferences, as that will make the more guests more redundant. There is also something called bonus happiness, which are activities which boost a guest happiness, not through the atmosphere, and can thus be a way to make one guest happier while not affecting another guest's happiness. I greatly recommend doing these bonus events whenever they show up. You can access your guest list before the start and all the way through your Ember Court scenario in case you're unsure of your guest's atmosphere preferences. Now. There is a little more to prepare when you want to invite a guest to the Ember Court. Since they will not accept an invitation just because it comes from the Moorwalker no-no, you gotta do them a favor first, of course. 
So each week, Lord Garridan will present you a guest list of possible guests to invite to the Ember Court. On the list, you'll be able to see which guests favor you've already earned and whom you still need to aid before they will accept an invitation. Another thing to note about the list of potential guests for the week is that you can re-roll for another invitable guest who is not on the presented list if you're not satisfied with the options of the week. To do so, you need a blank invitation which you can purchase from Lady Ilinka or get from your calling caches as well as 8 infused rubies. With the items on hand, you open the guest list and select Revoke Invitation. Overall, before starting the Imber Court scenario for the week, you do a few activities at the location of the Imber Court. First, earn your guests' acceptance of the invitation, if necessary. Then, you decide on entertainment. This, you must choose based on guest atmosphere preference. Talk to hips to arrange this. Decide on beverages, which also should be based on guest atmosphere preference. Pika Stefan is in charge of beverages. After getting more reputation with the Imber Court, you can also choose decorations and manage security, both also affecting the court atmosphere. To unlock decorations, you buy the building dredger pool from Tamil at friendly reputation with the Imber Court, and you unlock the security at honor reputation with the court when unlocking the building Gat House. You start out with only a few options for each feature of the Imber Court and can venture out in the Shadowlands to find and unlock more. The NPC in charge of each specific feature will tell you how to unlock these other options. You are now ready to begin the Ember Court. Make sure you've got plenty of time for this, the scenario can easily take 10 minutes and you don't want to rush things and waste it as you can only host one Ember Court per week. Especially at the beginning, the Ember Court might seem rather overwhelming. There is a lot to keep track of with many things going on around you. Don't stress out. In the first couple of courts, you will not be able to max out the wanted atmosphere nor get a perfect score, but it will be easier as you progress through each party hosted. To increase each attribute at the Ember Court, you do the following. For entertainment, you participate in the events going on at the court. For refreshments, make sure to bring and serve them to the guests. This will improve their happiness. To the court staff, remember to speak to them and remind them to participate in events and manage the court grounds. For the guests themselves, remember to interact with them and the elements in the court scenario. For the events, complete random and bonus events that pop up. Do keep an eye out for bonus events to boost your guest happiness. They will be marked with a star on your map, easy to spot, and will usually include a mini game which is related to your guest's preferred atmosphere. What is also noteworthy is that during the Ember Court you can socialize with the Venthyr guests to give you a boost of 3 stats. health speed or damage. This boost lasts 30 minutes. It's not very long however, so the use is minor. Once an Ember Court ends, you'll be presented with tribute from each of your guests. These tributes will contain items, crafting materials, reputation with the given guests themselves and with the Ember Court. The more guests who attended, the more potential tribute, depending on their happiness level. Of course, the happier your guests are, the higher amount of reputation and quality of the tribute they give you. What mostly influences the tribute, aside from your guests' happiness, is the realm they come from. Each tribute will be themed after each of the realms, so if you want something particular from Ardenweald, it's better to invite Ardenweald guests. Additionally, as you get closer and better friends with the invited NPC, they will also give you better rewards. It takes resources and time to host successful parties, and the Imper Court is no exception. Once you've done a number of courts, you'll be asked to restock supplies before you can host more. You'll be sent on a restocking quest, which asks you to collect some materials, which can be ores, herbs or other crafting mats, as well as infused rubies. Don't worry, you don't need much. I got sent out for one Widow Bloom, one marrow root and a handful of rubies to restock Stefan's tea. The Ember Court is also special around seasonal events, such as Lovers in the Air and the Lunar Festival. Currently, due to the Midsummer Fire Festival, there's a bonfire behind Theotar and Dredger fire jugglers running around the court. And that's all there is to it. Now that I have it all in writing, it's somehow a lot easier for me to take in. And I'm not just saying this to encourage you, but I'm gonna start working on the Ember Court now. I want that bat, and that dredger pet, and I do like tribute chests, it's always a thrill to open them to see what I've earned. 
I hope this guide made it a little easier for you guys, but as always, if you do have questions and comments, feel free to leave them below. I also greatly recommend Wowhead's Ember Court strategy guide linked in the description below. It contains some finer strategies and guest combinations to make the most of each Ember Court scenario. Personally, I'll just start and get a feeling for the whole thing before I get too overwhelmed with strategies too. You can still catch me on Twitter, here, and I stream always once on weekend mornings for the time being, with some spontaneous weekdays and more to come as we grow and I get my calendar sorted out. I will add streams to the calendar here on YouTube so you guys can keep an eye on the time. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting. Take care.